All right, all right, all right. You guys remember when coach would say, everybody, take a knee. That's what we're going to do together today. We're going to take a knee, except we are going to practice shooting from kneeling positions. Why would we want to do that? Shooting from kneeling positions. Why would we want to do that? Multiple reasons. One, maybe I need to diminish my exposure, hide behind something. Two, maybe it's going to help me get steadier in the wind. Uh, maybe I'm fatigued, etc. Three, maybe I need to change my posture to be able to see around something. Recently, I was doing some target shooting and I was able to see the target until I moved to a certain spot and then a branch was in the way. The only way I was able to get a firing solution on the target was to get lower. So I may need to change my height, my stature, to get a firing solution. Uh, four, perhaps there's cover that I can hide behind. I'm gonna use getting smaller and closer to the earth to be able to hide myself. Uh, five, how about this? One of the main principles of the carry trainer program, of everything that I was taught that's been passed on to me by all of the great shooters, fighters, warriors that I have been uh, so blessed to come in contact with in my life. Basically everything I know about any of this has just been passed on to me by, by men uh, smarter, better, and more uh, versed. But I take all of that and pass it on to you. And one of those precepts is being able to put hits on anything, nobody's on the range but me today, inside the capable limits of the gun. I should not have to stand a certain way on a well-lit flat range. I should be able to get hit seated. I should be able to get hit standing, kneeling, prone. I should be able to be in a fetal position if need be, behind a, a vehicle, in a vehicle, up on a ladder, up on a roof, up on a hot air balloon. You get the point. The shooting component of aligning sights, gripping gun, pressing trigger must happen regardless of what's going on around us. If it's time to shoot, you better be able to shoot and get the shot done. My buddy Dave Spaulding calls it the essentials instead of fundamentals. It's a play on words, but if you think about it, it's a good word. The essentials are some things I can't get away with. I gotta have this. If I'm gonna make you chocolate chip cookies, the Toll House recipe, it's essential that I have flour. It's essential that I have butter. It's essential that I have chocolate chips. You get the point. If I've got ground beef, that ain't helping me, right? If I've got uh, oats, that's not helping me. That's not in the recipe. I need to have the essentials. So let's work on taking a knee. Downrange, we've got a couple beautifully, look at the paint job on those bad boys. I just did a video on how to cheaply paint steel. You'll have to check that out. Beautifully painted TA targets, fine American company, that's American made steel. These boys go uh, to great lengths to only buy American AR steel. Good friends of mine from uh, the great state of Pennsylvania. I'm gonna be throwing on some eye and ear protection here. My ear protection is from Pro Ears. My eye protection, people keep asking, is from Tactical RX. They come in this awesome case. These are polarized and they also have my prescription, which is pretty nice. Pro Ears, best ears on the market come from a family-owned business up in Michigan. Why do I dig them? Besides it's a family-owned business, the audio is the most true to life. And I've got all of the high-end three, four, five, six hundred dollar ear pro. These sound the best. And I'm not a, a, an audiologist, I'm not an electronic specialist, but I know there's something special about how they've got different electronics in each headset. Much of the other premium brands only have one piece of electronics that branch over to the other ear. All I know is I can tell directionally where shit's coming from and I'm not doing the, oh my God, what is that? And then I see a caterpillar 800 yards away that I thought was in my brain. You guys know what I'm talking about. So let's work on taking a knee. Let's do it. All right, here we go. To start, square up on a target, eye and ear protection. I'm gonna draw while standing, come to a two hand We'll call this position three or ready pistol. So I'm at ready pistol, take a knee. Strong side uh, leg, we'll take that knee down first. Get a sight picture, get a hit. Finger straight, fight yourself back up. Let's try the other knee. So now the support side leg down, that which might require you to do a foot switch. Fight yourself back up, recover to the holster. Couple things. If you're shaky, this isn't an insult to anybody. We do this with enough people around the country that I see guys 
no, no offense, have spent years in office chairs doing stuff like this, they're falling over. So here's how you can practice this. And I'm not a physical therapist or a trainer, so seek medical help if need be. Grab a chair at the back of the table and let's just do some very basic controlled squats. This is gonna work the hamstring, it's gonna work the quadricep. And when you don't need support, you take your hands away. But we're basically just doing a lunge movement and that'll help get us strengthened up. When do I like to do these kind of movements? Check this out. Brushing your teeth, one, two. See, so you could do that while you're brushing your teeth. Coffee's brewing, one, two. Even if you're on your phone, you're reading an email, four, 417, 937, and 1,000 when your wife or girlfriend walks in, right? Whew, that felt great. Food for thought. Let's try two knees. This would be more of a hasty drop. We gotta be careful of what's on the ground, but exigent circumstances might require us going down. Gun comes up, right to my knees. We get the hit, fight back up. Who'd have thought? There's so much discussion about being on your knees. There's a girlfriend joke in here, or a mom joke, but I will abstain. For now, sis, for now. Let's try that again, hasty knee. Draw, drop. Two targets, fight back up, and recover. Just making sense? This is the kind of stuff, the problem I have when we, when we decide that we wanna just figure this stuff out on the fly, meaning in that dark, stormy parking lot, in the proverbial alley with the bad guys, that ain't the time to figure it out, man. If I have shot off my knees 10,000 times and had success, my brain now has a story to tell, right? There is a software, there is programming. Guys that watch videos with guys like me, I'm not a warrior, I'm not a soldier, I'm not a cop. I'm a dad and I have his right. I'm a husband, I'm a boyfriend, I'm a friend, right? I have people I care about. And you know what else I care about? I care about this guy. I live but once. I will not die from a predator. I will practice and I have a right to practice. So when I see dudes, they're like, well, who are you? I'm a dude that cares about my well-being. I care about my kids, my grandkids, my woman, my neighbor, my parents, whoever's in my care and custody, damn it. Take this stuff seriously, right? If we start to add something like cover, the proverbial range cover, by the way, barrels are not real cover. It's just a barrel, guys. Take it easy. So same thing here. I'm gonna, I'm, I know my head's gonna be up beyond this, but I'm gonna now practice some movement. Let's change camera angle. I'm gonna practice a little bit movement to this barrel. I'm just using it as a point of reference in time and space, and we're gonna hustle up to the barrel. Does that make sense? Hustle up! Boy, just dropped you right in a mud puddle. It's getting pretty wet out here. There's been so much spring rain. Your mom's a spring rain. Hey, you leave my mom out of this, pal. I won't, I won't, I'll say what I want. So here's what's gonna happen. I'll move back, put 10 yards between me and the cover. And I'm gonna say, go! Move, 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 move. Draw, knee. And I know I'm not hiding behind this. If I needed to, I'd be down on my belly. I'm just using it as a point to go to. Let's try it again. This guy's just doing some calisthenics. You're damn right I am. Move. Get through that mud. Draw. Fight to your feet. And if you can't hear that little piece of steel, it's a ringing. It doesn't make a ton of noise coming through the microphone, but that was painted up before we began. So I just don't want you to think I'm missing on you, because if I miss, we got a rule. The rule is you make it up, you son of a buck. If you make a, a miss, you make it up. Let's try this. Come right about, right about there for you. Might as well go from, might as well go from the camera. Fight up. Tech mag. So let's talk about some post action practices. Guys will watch this and they say in the police academy, I learned you always 
there's very few always in life. Uh, always be careful not to point the gun at yourself or anybody else you don't want to shoot, kill, or destroy. But something I took away from uh, the great Tom Gibbons, range master, and he might have not come up with it, but that's where I learned it from. Post action thought process and maybe a thought engine. Did I hit? Yes, no. Did it work? Yes, no. Do I need to shoot again? Yes, no. I have added to that in our classes, what's important now, Coach Lou Holtz? Can I leave or do I have to stay? Is there anybody hurt that I'm in res responsible for? Am I hurt? Does he have any friends, right? There is this whole list of things. If I am hurt, do I have the ability to render aid? If somebody else is hurt, do I have the ability to render aid? Any of you that have ever had any EMS, uh, EMS training have learned one thing over and over. You're, you're gonna, as soon as I say it, you'll be like, yep, scene safety. Is the scene safe? If I've got a friend down out there, do I just go run and help him? You better not. You better sh first make sure that it's safe for you to enter. Otherwise you may and probably will, maybe not probably, but there's a high probability that you become another casualty. So let's check the scene before we run into it. That's where it's a traffic crash. That's a fire. That's all of the above, right? So we always make sure it's safe to go there. Let's check out this angle of the dangle, huh? If any of you saw the video we did a few days ago on drawing outside the waistband with cover, we'll add in that turn. So the turn, identify, I identify, I draw, turn, I'm gonna take a knee. See that? So we're first identifying the target. Go back and check out that video if you didn't already. I identify, I don't just, I don't just, and I'm, I'm alone on the range, guys. I'm not sweeping a crowd. Well, in reality, I might, in reality, you might what? You might sweep a crowd of people with your gun when you don't have to, right? Identify, draw, I'm dominating that pistol. Look at the orientation. Turn, take a knee. Good hits, fight up, recover to the holster. Turn from this direction, identify. Yeah! Makes me feel good, makes me feel good. Let's do one from this direction. Identify, eyes go where I want the gun to go. Eyes go where I want the gun to go. Gun up, turn. Dominate that muzzle. Here's the end of the day thought process, my friends. What you put in is what you get out, best case scenario. I read something today that said, anything any human can do, you can do. Bullshit. Um, I cannot reach up and touch a 12 foot ceiling, right? There's some tallest men in the world that might be able to do that. Uh, I cannot beat Usain Bolt in a foot race. But what I can do is I can jump on my motorcycle and beat Usain Bolt. What I can do is grab my ladder and climb up and touch that ceiling. As such, there are ways for us to overcome the limitations that nature put upon us. Should Chamber breach face magwell, look away. Chamber breach face magwell. Should nature call on you to have to dig deep, the whole point of these weapons, of these tools, I hear you brother, I'm on, a, I'm on a recording right now, we'll be back to you in a minute. Should nature call on you, something terrible has happened my friends. The unthinkable, the unspeakable, the unimaginable. Develop an innate level of ability and skills with these things that you can't fail. And if you do, the odds were stacked against you and you did your damn best, right? My buddy Jared Reston, who was shot seven times, first round impacting his jaw and exiting out his neck. We've got a couple recordings of him telling that story. Jared says, I never would have known that I lost had he lost that gun battle, but he survived, the attacker died. He said, I never would have known because he never would have quit. The guy would have had to have shut his lights off. That's a mindset. That's a mindset. A homeless person has a mindset. A drug addict has a mindset. A CEO, an Olympic gold medalist, an NFL lineman, a, a hardworking mom, a hardworking dad. Everybody's got a mindset. Not everybody has the mindset of a winner. And that's on you. Whatever your mom and dad plugged in, that's great. Maybe it's not great. You're an adult now if you're watching this video and you're, you're tuning in. You can reprogram this supercomputer with anything you want.
It doesn't mean you can reach up and touch that 12 foot ceiling, but you can utilize this great power of the human mind to touch whatever you need to with that ladder, with this firearm. This allows you and I to extend our righteous will farther away, righteous. Train accordingly. This is Mickey with CarryTrainer.com. Please do check out Pro Ears. Please do check out Tactical RX. My buddies at CCW Safe have afforded us a very cool limited time discount code just for followers. CCW Safe, no question, is the best of the concealed carry coverage packages. If you don't agree, don't buy it. If you're interested, send me a message at training at carrytrainer.com. I will give you that discount code. It's the best out there in the market. I have it. Why wouldn't you? Be well. Don't be dickheads. Remember, sometimes you can take a knee and still deliver the force needed or make better choices or get skinny and win. Train to win. Bye now. Take a knee, muzzle level. I'm not, this isn't a crutch. I'm gonna fill my muzzle full of dirt and I'm gonna blow my gun up. Muzzle level, which means I might need to build some forearm strength. Support hand to the earth, thrown out. Same thing we've been working on. Support hand straight, pull my knees underneath me. Fit, fit, swim back in. Part of this movement is the sling work. It's not just, I'm not gonna come to the line like this. Hey, you a coffee drinker? Check this out. We're roasting it ourselves, Ignis Lux. This happens to be a medium blend. Roasted with love just for you. Ignis Lux is Latin for fire light. There's a lot of choices out there with coffee. I guarantee you this, if you buy this, if you try it and you don't like it, I'll tell you too bad. <laughs> Check it out, Ignis Lux. I guarantee you're gonna dig it. Oh, hey.